I finally was able to get a Laotian, and I don't know if he was an officer or anything, because I, I didn't, I'd never seen him before, but I, I needed a volunteer because I had to go from where we were dug in, or we weren't really dug in, we were in a cistern type uh, operation. And I had to uh, go to the other aircraft because I found out that they had a couple machine guns on their aircraft that they never retrieved. So I had to get over to the other aircraft and it was a, it was a bit of ways. And uh, so I got a volunteer from the Laotian guy and I called him Charlie. <laughs> he, he, I don't know if he could speak English, but he understood what I was asking. So he, he was my, uh, what should I say, uh, sidekick. And so we dashed to the other aircraft and I jumped up and got the machine guns, uh, off and, uh, the enemy could see me when I was in the helicopter because I was up about, you know, three feet or four feet. So they started firing as much as they could. And it was, it was kind of interesting because I, I said, I said to myself, holy shit, uh, what am I doing up here? You know, because I, I can hear the bullets pinging through the helicopter. You know, the helicopter is light metal. And it was hitting the plexiglass and the metal. And, and fortunately, it didn't, they didn't hit me. But uh, so I got all the parachutes off because I figured I'd use the parachutes as a stand where we could put the machine guns on. And... That way the uh, sergeants could uh, be behind the parachutes, bullets would hit it, and it would uh, all the cloth inside would dislodge and slow any bullets down. So I wanted them as a platform, and I'd put the machine guns on top. And so I got got all that, and I was making trips back and forth because I had to get all the ammunition. And every time I'd get up in the helicopter, that. They'd see me and start firing again. <laughs> <laughs>